we can convert the information contained within a table into simple text. To help get a better idea of what we're doing here, I'm going to switch on the show hide. That'll become obvious why I'm doing that in a few seconds. OK, so we've got a table of data. Again, because we're working on the table, I don't need to select the whole thing, as long as we've got it clicked on there somewhere. And we do table, convert, table to text. It then asks us what we want to separate the text with when we can do the conversion. The default there is tabs, and I'll leave it at that just to show you the effect first. And click on OK. And you can see there, because I've left the show hide on, that what has happened is it's put a tab stop between each item in each individual row. And it's used a paragraph mark at the end of each row. And if I switch the show hide off, there's our text. Let's just undo that and have another look at that. So that's table, convert, table to text. We use tabs there just to see the difference. Let's use commas this time and OK. And you can see there that it's put a comma between each item on the row. Have a look at one more. Table, convert, table to text. This time we'll try paragraph marks. You can type any mark you want into there, by the way. I'm going to do paragraph mark and OK. And you can see it's just a new paragraph for every single item in the table. Once we have um, some text, leave our tabs. If we've got some text in our document and we want to convert that text into a table, then we can use the same feature. But for this, we need to select the text that we want to work with first. And then we do table, convert, this time text to table. And it asks us how many rows and columns we want. And really, to be honest, the computer is very, very good at picking up that information. It's picked up that we've got two columns and therefore we must have 23 rows. We can make adjustments, but we don't need to in this instance. We could do all the normal auto fitting behavior. We can add a table auto format. And then at the bottom, it's saying separate text at, and it's already picked up that it tabs, it separates them. If it wasn't tabs, we can select any of the other features. I'm going to leave it tabs, click on OK, and there we have our table. So converting text to tables and tables to text is very useful when you're working with a document, especially if you've copied and pasted information perhaps from the internet.